how you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm Chad Tu, and I'm here to talk to you today about why I want to be a great pirate, and to also say why maybe you should consider this as well. So now, this needs some explaining. You know, the, the, the term great pirate was coined by a guy named Buckminster Fuller. He was a, a designer, an author, and a futurist in the mid-20th century. And uh, Fuller said, described the, the great pirates as kind of the seafaring entrepreneurs and traders, the, the first people who kind of like went out and started over time to develop what we know today as the global economy. I like this idea. I build on it actually in the global economics class that I teach, uh, which is actually nicknamed Great Pirate Economics. And as uh, Dr. DeSalle mentioned, that's the, uh, the title of a book that I'm working on as well. Now, Fuller talked about these first great pirates going all the way back to maybe like the Phoenicians uh, to, as bold explorers and traders. They were kind of people who left the safety of their own little villages or ports and went out to explore what lay beyond, uh, first up and down the coast, then further down the coast, and eventually out across the sea. It got to the point where these uh, great pirates were kind of like used to living out at sea. Uh, and they were kind of beyond the reach of any one set of laws or any one city state. They were kind of outlaws, and so pirates. What's more important, though, is what made them great pirates. Now, the, the, the char characteristics of a great pirate is that they have a broad mastery of knowledge and technology. That they had to know things. The technology of their time was a little different than ours. They had to know about how to build ships. They had to understand celestial navigation. They had to understand all the different languages and cultures that they encountered because they would have to trade with these people and understand what was important to them. And also very important, they had to really have a global vision that they were really compelled to leave the safety of their own home to go out there and see what lay beyond uh, the horizon. Now, what's interesting as an economics teacher is that this idea kind of runs counter to the idea of specialization, that the great pirates were really generalists. They were kind of like Renaissance men on a mission. And uh, that, ho however, for like 200 years, uh, economists have told us that the key to economic su success is specialization. They tell about you know, that Henry Ford was able to build more cars cheaper and faster by using an automated assembly line where one worker would just be on one spot on the line doing the same task over and over again. That popular scholar Malcolm Gladwell talked to us about uh, the, uh, the 10,000 hour rule. He said that the Beatles became one of the greatest bands in the history because they uh, rehearsed and practiced for over 10,000 hours in the clubs of Hamburg. You often will be finding out a lot about specialization, too, in colleges. Colleges love specialization. The first thing they ask you to do is choose a major, then often a subspecialty. And then when they're done with you, they kick you out to go and burrow into some kind of a narrow uh, specialized profession. Now, the great pirates, they love specialization, too, but just not for themselves. <laughs> that they knew that the secret to success was to know just enough about a broad number of things and also how to be good at hiring specialists. Because they had to have people who would you know, build their ships and navigate uh, for them, and also generals to be able to fight uh, and whatnot. So that, that they, they liked specialization, but they wanted all these specialists to work under them with a great pirate on top of the organization. Now, Sometimes I think maybe you know, what's successful is kind of defined by the age that we live in. The great pirates, especially those in like the 14th and 15th century, they lived in the age of exploration. That uh, they, they were out there and that really required kind of like you know, broad generalists to be able to succeed in, in a world as you're out exploring and defining what's going to be new. However, the Industrial Revolution really rewarded instead specialists that, uh, that, that, as we talked about, the people who could work on the assembly lines and people who perfected processes. However, I think that that age is passing, that uh, you know, assembly line worker now, workers now are being kind of replaced by robotic uh, assembly lines, that software in some ways is replacing uh, the people who do accounting work or draftsmen and search engines can re are replacing jobs that were formerly done by travel agents and uh, realtors. So it's just a matter of time. You know, whatever specialty that you're most interested in 
might be replaced by the next advance in artificial intelligence. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, we have to figure out what specialty is going to be extinct next. Now, so I posit that success in a post-industrial uh, interconnected world really requires us to bring back some of the values of the great pirates, that you need to be a global voyager, be aware of the big, broader world. You have to be a man or a woman of bold action, that you need to possess an entrepreneurial spirit, and you have to know how to use technology and other kinds of knowledge to create the, the most profitable and efficient product that you can. What's more important, though, I think, is as a person, the secret of the great pirate is that to really live a rich, fulfilling life, you really need to combine multiple skills and be interested in a lot of different things. That you need to be bold and curious about what's out there about beyond the horizon. That, and, but it's not enough just to go beyond the horizon and find what's something special out there. You need to, like the great traders of old, bring it back and share it with the people that uh, you came from. And so that's the reason why I want to be a great pirate. It's why I encourage the students in my class to uh, think like great pirates, and I invite you to be a great pirate too. Thanks.